How many times have you been at the top of a long list and you need to find something at the bottom of that list? You find yourself flicking to the right countless times in order to get there. How many times have you been in the middle of a website and you get carpal tunnel having to flick to the left dozens of times to get back to the top? How many times have you listened to a demonstration and the podcaster says, let's just touch at the top of the screen and find our back button? More often than not, you land in the status bar or about an inch below where you need to be. The four finger single tap will resolve all of those situations in one gesture. Hi folks, Pete Lane. Welcome to another episode in our series, iPhone 101. In this installment, we review the four finger single tap. The four finger single tap is exactly as it sounds. We place four fingers on the screen at the same time. As you'll hear, we do this toward the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen, depending upon the action we want it to perform. Namely, to take us to the top of a page or the top of a list or to the bottom of the page or the bottom of a list. The four finger single tap is sometimes difficult to perform because you're trying to get four fingers onto your iPhone screen at one time. Those of you with an iPhone 5 or 5S or even the new iPhone SE, all of which are smaller phones, will find this somewhat difficult, particularly if you have large hands like mine. Trying to fit four fingers from left to right onto the screen is often difficult. That's why I've developed a different type of a technique, which you might want to try. This is just a personal preference of mine. Let me explain. Instead of trying to place my four fingers from left to right across the screen while it's in portrait mode, and by portrait mode I mean upright with the home button at the bottom, I turn my phone sideways with the home button on the left hand side onto which I can fit my four fingers. I have my orientation locked on my iPhone. Now, as a result, I need to adjust the direction of my particular gestures. For example, if I want to do a four finger single tap toward the bottom of my screen, in this position, I would slide my four fingers to the left, which in turn would be towards the bottom of the screen. Conversely, if I want to place my four fingers toward the top of the screen, I'll slide them to the right, which would in turn be toward the top of the screen. This is much easier and gives me a lot more room to place my fingers. For other four finger gestures, for example, the four finger swipe left or right, because my phone is sideways, this means I now swipe my fingers up or down. Up would be a swipe to the left and down would be a swipe to the right. I also do this with my three finger swipe to the left, swipe to the right, or my three finger swipe up or down. Your fingers don't have to be horizontal with the top and the bottom of your screen when swiping up or down or with the sides of your screen when swiping left and right. As long as either three or four fingers make contact with the screen and the direction is correct, the gesture will work. Practice this and let me know if this is confusing or if it works a little bit easier for you. All right, we know how to do the gesture. Now let's see exactly what it can do in different situations. First, I want to go to my mail app. Mail, seven unread emails. I'll open. Double tap to open. Actions of Mail, search field. Double tap to edit. Now I'm at the top of my inbox. Pete Lane, some new accessibility features we can expect with iOS 11 this fall, yesterday. This is an email from yesterday, actually containing some of the new iOS 11 accessibility features. But I'm looking for a particular email that is dated June 16th of 2014, relating to life insurance coverage. So I need to get down to that email. So as we learned in a previous episode, we can use our three finger swipe up to go down this list of emails. So let me do so and and as I do it, we'll hear how many emails I have in this list. I'll do my three finger swipe up. Rows three to eight of 321. Rows three through eight of 321. That means I have 321 emails and the one I'm looking for will be way down at the bottom of this list. It'll take me all afternoon to get there. There must be a faster way, right? You got it. The four finger single tap. In this case, I'll use my four finger single tap towards the bottom of my screen to get to the bottom of my email list. 
Compose button. Double tap and hold to bring up drafts. So I touched the screen towards the bottom with four fingers relatively close together, and I arrived at the bottom most element on the screen. But I'm not in the email list itself, so I'll need to flick backwards. Updated two minutes ago. Filter messages. Lane PS checking in. 6 slash 13 slash 14. Now there's an email dated 6 13 2014, and the one I'm looking for is dated 6 16. So I know I need to go farther up the list, and here I'll use my three finger swipe down to go up my list. Remember that? Here, I'll go ahead and use my three finger swipe down now. Rows 314 to 318 of 321. I'll try one more time. Rows 310 to 315 of 321. Now let me touch on the screen to select an email just to hear the date to see where I am in my search. Lane PS, Mike Farewell FW, message from... 6 slash 16 slash 14. Now I'm on the right date, but the wrong email, so I'll flick to the left. Lane PS, hello from the north. 6 slash 16 slash 14. Lane PS, Diane Wilkes email. 6 slash 16 slash 14. Lane PS, life insurance coverage. 6 slash 16 slash 14. Forwarded. There it is. Life insurance coverage, June 16th, 2014. I'll now open this. Original message, five hyphens. And I'll stop voiceover from speaking. So here I am at my old email, which was way down my list of more than 300 emails. And I got there quickly and easily with the four finger single tap at the bottom of my screen. I'm in the body of my email now. From Lane Peters, sent Monday, September 10th to Peter Lane. Subject, life insurance coverage. Now when I'm done reading this email, I'll want to close it, in which case I'll need to go to the very top of my email to find my back button. I'll use my four finger single tap at the top of this screen to go to the top of this email. Back button. And there it is, my back button. I'll double tap. Back button. Inbox. Lane Peters, FW, life insurance coverage, 6 slash 16 slash 14. I'm right at that email in my inbox again. So now I want to go to the very top of this email list. I'll now use my four finger single tap toward the top of this screen and see where I land. Gmail, back button. And I'm on my Gmail at the very top of the screen. I'll flick right. Inbox, edit, button, search field, P lane. Some new accessibility features we can expect with iOS 11 this fall, yesterday. And there I am, right back at the top of my list. Quick and easy. This is a wonderful gesture and I use it all the time. As I mentioned, the four finger single tap is useful on virtually any screen, but it's particularly effective when used in getting to the bottom or to the top of a long list. A good example of this is in the Downcast app. For those of you who are not aware, Downcast is a podcatcher. A podcatcher is simply a single app which allows you to subscribe to multiple podcast feeds. Needless to say, I am subscribed to the Blind Abilities podcast feed, and I'm currently on the screen on which all of our podcasts happen to appear. Let me show you what I mean. I'll flick to the right. Blind Abilities, podcast with a blindness perspective, heading. There's our heading. One more time. Woodworking for the Blind Summer Workshop Sessions at Enchanted Hills Camp. Status. Audio. Downloaded. Unplayed. Duration. 6. 42. Published. Yesterday. And I'll stop voice over from speaking. The important piece of information there was published yesterday. So as you can tell, this list presents the podcasts in reverse time order, meaning the most recent podcasts are at the top of the list. The older ones are at the bottom. Let me show you. I'll flick down one more time to the right. iPhone 101. The O Gestures Part 4. Exploring the world of the single finger double tap and hold status. Audio downloaded, unplayed, duration 15, 22, published Saturday. Published Saturday. That's our last voiceover gestures demo. But let's say I wanted to find a podcast from a couple of years ago. That would no doubt be way down the list. So I'll use my trusty four finger single tap toward the bottom of the screen. Podcast settings button. Podcast settings is the very bottom most element on the screen. So now I'll flick to the left to go backwards up to the list. Actions button. Podcast details button. Edit button. 273 episodes, 87 hours, one minute left. Wow, 273 episodes. View other available episodes button. Now I'm going to flick one more time to the left. We'll hear the very first episode on our list. Quick hit. Demonstration on the iNote currency reader on the iPhone. Status. Audio. Downloaded. Unplayed. Duration. 7. 5. Published. 1 slash 4 slash 15. Published. 1 slash 4 slash 15. That's January 4th of 2015. About two and a half years ago. Likewise, if I continue to flick to the left. 
Episode details. Quick hit. Exploring the messages app on the iPhone. Status. Audio. Downloaded. Unplayed. Duration. 14. 34. Published. 2 slash 4 slash 15. Published in February of 2015. You can see that if I wanted to get toward the bottom of a list, particularly a very long list, the four finger single tap on the bottom of the screen is a very quick and easy way to get to the bottom of that list. Likewise, if I'm at the bottom and I want to get back to the top, I'll use my trusty four finger single tap toward the top of the screen. Podcast, back button. And I'm at the very top element on the screen. So if I flick to the right, blind abilities, find episodes, blind abilities, podcast with a blindness perspective, heading. There's our heading again woodworking for the blind summer workshop sessions and there's our latest podcast another example of how this gesture can help out in this particular app i'll go ahead and select this latest episode it's awesome to be here i'm really grateful getting to meet all these people that i've read their names and and I did a single finger double tap on the name of that episode and it immediately started playing it as you heard. I then used a two finger double tap, remember the magic tap, to stop the playing of the audio. So I'm on a different screen in my Downcast app. One of the nice features of this particular podcatcher is the ability to adjust the playback speed. Unfortunately, the button to adjust the playback speed is way down towards the bottom of this screen. So I'll use my four finger single tap toward the bottom. Airplay button. Airplay is the bottom most button on the screen. So now if I flick to the left, Share media file for sleep timer disabled. Volume 44%. Normal playback speed is on. Button. Tap to cycle through playback speeds. So there we go. Normal playback speed is currently selected. If I wanted to increase the speed, I would perform a single finger double tap right here. 1.25x playback speed is on. Or 1.5x playback speed is on. And so on. But the point here is that the four finger single tap effectively brought me closer to the control that I needed. Now, if I'm done listening to this podcast and I want to go back to the list to look for another, I'll do the four finger single tap at the top of the screen. Back button. And there's our back button. A single finger double tap. Back. Blind abilities. Woodworking for the blind summer workshop sessions. We'll take us right back to our previous screen. Let's take a look at another example. If any of you have used Twitter, the Twitter app on the iPhone is very user friendly. Let's take a look. Twitter, double tap to open. And the app opens up to my home tab, my timeline. Now I'll flick to the right. Home, heading, compose tweet, button, blind abilities, the red read, revolutionary device for learning braille, interview with Alex Tavares, Harvard grad, link, the red read, revolutionary device for learning braille. Two hours ago. And as you heard, this list, like the downcast list, is in reverse order, meaning the most recent tweets are at the top of the list. This one just happened to be a blind abilities tweet. But I haven't been on Twitter in quite some time, so I want to check out some of the tweets from a week or two ago. So how would I do that? You guessed it. Four finger single tap toward the bottom of this screen. Me tab. It gets me to the me tab, which is the bottom right of all of the tabs at the bottom of the screen. I'll flick backwards to the left. Messages tab. Notifications tab. Search and explore tab. Selected. Home tab. In progress. Speed dots quoted Apple Vis. Rocking with the rock wall. Five port USB charger. AppleVis.com slash reviews slash missile. Speed dots added. Check out our newest product. You all wanted more USB charging ports. And we delivered June 13th, 2017. There we had a tweet or a retweet to be precise from Speed Dots. And it was dated June 13th, which was about a week ago. So that would have taken me quite a while to use my three finger swipe up to move down the list. Once again, I can go back to the top with my four finger single tap toward the top of the screen. Connect button. And there I am at the top of the screen on the connect button. And with three quick flicks to the right. Home, heading, compose, tweet. Blind Joe quoted Chase Kirby, unapologetically listening to Don Henley's The End of the Innocence All Day. Blind Joe added, 88 boy, three exclamation marks, one minute ago. Wow, Blind Joe commenting on a tweet from someone else listening to Don Henley, The End of the Innocence. I would have to agree with Blind Joe on that one. Add a boy. So you can clearly see how quick and easy this gesture is. And to repeat, it can be used on any screen, any screen whatsoever. It can be used on a home screen to go back to the top app or back down to the bottom app on the dock. It can be used in a website to go to the top or the bottom of the page that you're on. Or it can be used in your settings app to go down a long list of individual settings elements. 
This wraps up our presentation of the four finger single tap. It might take some practice for you to squeeze those four fingers onto your screen, but try my little tip. See if that doesn't help. And be sure to let me know. We're getting close to the end of our voiceover gestures presentation. Stay tuned as we wrap up some of the miscellaneous gestures that we haven't touched on in our one, two, three, or four finger categories. And when we're done with those, there's plenty more coming at you. So don't forget to write if you got any suggestions or any questions, shoot us an email at info at blindabilities.com. As always, thanks so much for listening and have a great day. When we share what we see through each other's eyes, eyes, we can then then begin begin to bridge bridge the the gap between between the limited limited expectations and the reality reality of blind abilities. abilities. For more podcasts with a blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com, on Twitter at Blind Abilities, download our app from the App Store, Blind Abilities, that's two words, or send us an email at info at blindabilities.com. Thanks for listening.